Hello everybody, Cody here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys a really, really good add-on for, I think you all should try out, because this has tons of free stuff for you guys to get started making animation scenes, you know, any creation you could possibly imagine. This has a list of the library of free things, and the best part about it is you can upload as well and earn from your uploads. They get verified, people use them, you get paid to do it. It's not a whole lot, but if you're really good at what you do and you do it a lot you can make a good earning off of it and what i usually do is i just put it back into getting the full plan so it is i believe 14 dollars a month it is called blender kit and they have some really good support as well so we're gonna jump in here and as soon as you install the add-on and log in you're gonna notice you have these lists at the side so we're gonna start with an hdr or hdri and we're gonna click that i'm going to click the little eye here and at the top you're going to notice that we got this list now these are all hdris and hdrs that we can use to import into the scene and all we really have to do is click one so i am going to go we'll just go with one of these sunsets and you can choose which resolution you would like uh, the hdri to be so i'm just going to leave it at its default I'm going to switch over just to show you that the HDRI was added successfully and it was that easy to get into the scene. So the next thing we can actually do, so let me bring that eye back up. Next thing we can do now is I'm going to go turn off the shade mode and I'm going to go to models. So I'm going to go to models here. I'm going to click categories and you're going to notice we have a whole list of categories we can choose from. And we got tanks, we got vehicles, we got everything. And we have a lot of good photo scans and stuff like that for uh, like architecture and stuff like that. So you could build cities and whatnot and you have endless amounts. And the cool thing about this is a lot of these are other people or if not all of them are other people's creations. So and they get verified, right? So you're not always going to stumble upon crap. But there is uh, some errors or some issues with some models are usually just meant for the one upload. So they didn't really care about how many triangles were added. But mind you, that's only a few of the models I've had problems with. Like when you would add one like a mailbox and it would lag your entire scene. I've only had a few instances of that happening. And we're going to just find a couple models we're going to add here into the scene. So I'm just going to add this bus stop to show you how easy it is. Just You just click and drag it anywhere you want and it pops up. A lot of them have this axis point right here. So make sure you don't just grab the object or everything just comes off and parts sometimes. So just grab that little uh, thing that everything's bound to, the origin. And we're just going to use that, right? So now I can just blow that up a little bit. Now what we can do is go into characters and you, can, you should see all the characters that we have and a lot of these are rigged. And you see that we have like gunners and stuff like that and I don't know, there's some anime characters, some horror characters, like that looks incredible, that's crazy and we can just use it, right? And another cool thing about this is that you have entire scenes. So if you have pedestals, like I was saying, and stuff like that, you could use a, a pedestal for product design. You could keep going. There's a whole city layouts and stuff like that. And another thing that I usually upload that I use a lot are the brushes. Now, the brush sec section in this is amazing. So I'm not exactly sure where that categories list went right here, but there was a category section. For uh, all the brushes and stuff, here's a few of them that I've made and stuff like that. But you have like uh, fabrics and stuff like that, VDMs and all of this good stuff. Like uh, this in textures, like bump maps, uh, height maps. Like look at that, that's really cool too. And you can just take them and just start sculpting, right? So there's so many brushes that you could use right there. So I'm just going to show you some fun things with materials. So we can just take a plane. Let's make a cool little scene here, I guess. Bring that down a little bit. Something like that. And then what I can do is go into the scenes and then I can go into outdoor or sorry, not scenes, uh, materials. And then we'll go concrete and you'll see that we have all these different concretes up here. And the, and the list goes on for so long, especially if you have the uh, full version. So I highly recommend that you dive into that. But you're definitely welcome to go in and check out the free version. There's so much for you to use. So I'm just going to click this and uh, let that load up on in there. And as you see, we do have a pretty good ground texture. So there's one thing I probably want to do with that first would be in the UEV. And find the concrete here. 
Yeah, and you could rescale it if you really wanted to just by going into the UV map. But now if I go over into my uh, fully render tab, you'll see that we have an HDRI and pretty much everything good to go. So I'm just going to turn off my denoise so you can see it a little bit better. And if I go into another HDRI, say if I want this one, the one with the cool little houses in the background. we can make a scene right like there's so much we can do we can even just import full scenes so we'll go to here we'll import we have like a doritos bag we have this product i have no idea what that is that's beautiful right like we can go through all of this so we'll just hit that in a pen and we'll just wait and see how long that takes to load usually it pops right in right but it does have to download it as you see up there in the bar All right, now that you see that we have our full scene right here, right? So I'm just going to go off of the shaded mode here, and I'm going to bring this in. I wonder if they have a camera set up in the scene. Yes, they do. So I can just press that. And another cool trick to do with your camera is if you go into your prefences and your navigation, and you set flying mode to a button on your mouse, you can actually take the camera and move it around like a first-person uh, camera. So there's fly and walk. So what you'd have to do is uh, let go, press the button again, and then uh, or just right-click, you know, and you're back to there. So we'll just go up, just click right there, and I can zoom out my camera still in position. And this works really good for animation. So say if I wanted to animate the camera, right, all I would have to do is turn on the auto keyframe button, press that uh, fly button, make a keyframe there, and then say go to like, I don't know, 30 seconds. And just kind of navigate it like that. As you see, we got a fully animated camera. For some reason the position didn't work, so we'll just bring that back. As you see, now we have an animated camera in the scene. Like, it's that easy to use the fly and walk. But anyway, let's get back to the Blender kit. So if I turn this on, this is the one that we just clicked and opened. Now I can do pretty much anything I want with this scene for my renders. I can customize it with any of the other assets. So that's what makes this add-on a lifesaver in most cases. It fixes a lot of my sculpting issues. And, like, that's really cool just to be able to go in and play around with and see the power of Blender. But uh, thank you all for tuning in. If you like today's tutorial, I will be linking the dis in the description. I'll be putting the Blender Kit link there. And you can check out the paid and the free versions. Just check out the free version. Get into the paid later because you'll like it. And then when you want to upload things, you can just click the upload the same way. Model, edit your details, and click upload. And you'll see uh, in its verification. But please do like and subscribe if you like today's video. And I'll be uploading plenty more this week. So thank you all and have a great night.